God himself has ordained and instituted marriage. Let's go. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ began his ministry, uh, the first, very first miracle that he had that he did was a miracle at wedding. It turned water into wine. Praise God. But you know, he was invited. That's why we had that prayer, because that invites him into the presence today. And we do, we, this is a joyful day, but it's also a holy day. It's also a sacred day. Uh, I noticed over here they've set up uh, three chairs to represent the Trinity, and then they've set up chairs for uh, her dad and Jim's mother, and then also with your sister-in-law. Yes, ma'am. That's Tim's wife. She just recently, real recently, passed away. And uh, and this this shows it's, it's a family. Marriage is a family affair. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? You know, it's God's will and God's plan that you guys have a successful marriage. Wedding is a one-time event, but the marriage is a daily affair. God's plan, you know, it's His plan and His will that you succeed. And in, all, in order to succeed or in order to have success in this highest of all human commitments, we must look to God's Word for direction. The Bible says that you are to submit yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, you are to submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. And then husbands, the Bible says husbands are to love your wives even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. The biblical definition is love is, uh, it always, uh, uh, amen, gives me a, a chance to move up a little higher, but listen to the definition of love that's found in the book of Corinthians. The Bible says that love is very patient and kind. It's never jealous or envious. It's never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It's not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and it will hardly even notice when others do wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them. You will always expect the best of them, and you'll always stand your ground in defending them. All special gifts and powers of God Amen. Uh, will not be forever, but love is forever. The Bible tells us now abides faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Praise God. So, as you guys have joined hands and you're looking at each other, and these vows are going to be to each other. Jenny's to Susie and Susie's to Jenny. So Jenny, you and Susie have come signifying your desire, amen, to be formally united in the bonds of Christian marriage. I asked you, Jenny, 
and taking Susie to be your lawful wedded wife, before God and these witnesses present, you must promise to love her, to honor and cherish her, and leaving all others to cleave only to her, and be to her in all things a true and faithful husband, so long as you both shall be. Do you so promise? Susie, and taking Jimmy to be your lawful and wedded husband, before God and these witnesses present, you must promise to love him, to honor and cherish him, and leaving all others, to cleave only to him, and be to him in all things a true and faithful wife, so long as you both shall live, do you so promise. Have a song at this time.
We have a couple of rings. These two young men, aren't they handsome today? Praise God. Uncle Bill here, he's a handsome man. Praise the Lord. This pretty wedding party here. Praise God. Throughout history, throughout history, the ring has been used to seal the most important of all human commitments. The ring is a beautiful symbol of your love and that it is an unending circle symbolizing the eternity of your love. The purity of gold in the ring symbolizes the purity of your love in God's eyes and in the marriage relationship. Jimmy, will you take this ring, place it on Susie's hand, the ring finger, yes sir, and while you have it there, Would you say these words to Susie? With this ring I do wed. With loyal love. Loyal love. And all my worldly goods. With you I share. All right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Susie, would you take this rain? Place it upon Jimmy's ring finger. This ring is a beautiful symbol and meaningful token of your love for Jimmy. You will place it on his finger and you will say these words to Jimmy. With this ring I did wed. With loyal love. Amen. And all my worldly goods with you I share. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Now having pledged your faith in each other and love for each other, and having sealed the pledge through the exchange of these rings, and by your solemn vows to each other before God, I, acting in the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I am looking to God for his divine approval upon your wife and pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man put us under. Jimmy. Jimmy. You may now kiss your wife. Hey, how about that? Praise God. Amen. Isn't that sweet? Praise God. Let's give them a God bless them.
coming, being a witness and uh, part of this ceremony today. They have uh, ready for you. Just in a minute, we're going to have a prayer. And there's uh, snacks available over here, treats, sweets, and uh, makes my mouth water to thank that. <laughs> but we want to pray and ask God to watch over us as we leave here today and go back to our homes and wherever that he'll protect us, keep us safe in our travels. And we want to continue to ask you if you're a praying person, and if you're not, you ought to be. And if you're a praying person, please pray every day for this couple. And, you know, God will bless them and help them. You know, you can't, uh, you can't pray too much, can you? It's just conversation to your Heavenly Father. Father God, we love you today. We lift up our hands. And God, we bless the people that's here. And Father, we thank you for Jenny and Susie. We thank you for ever participant in this wedding today. We ask your anointing. We ask your guidance. We ask your protection upon us all, Father. And now we ask you to bless our time together as we share the food that they prepare. God, we ask you to bless it in the name of the Lord. We pray, amen, and amen. God bless you. They're going to be taking some pictures and whatnot, but Susie said to go ahead and turn you loose to have you some refreshments, and they're going to be taking pictures and all. And uh, so make yourself at home. God bless you.